India shines, steel cut for Navy's first indigenous fleet support ship, construction begins. In recent years, Hindustan Shipyard Ltd., HSL, in Visakhapatnam has embarked on a significant endeavor to bolster India's naval capabilities through the construction of ships for the Indian Navy. As per news reports, the steel-cutting ceremony of the first of five fleet support ships, FSS, was held at Hindustan Shipyard Limited, Visakhapatnam on Wednesday, April 10, 2024. On induction, after completion of ship construction and sea trials, the fleet support ships will bolster the blue water capabilities of the Indian Navy through replenishment of fleet ships at sea. The ceremony was presided over by Defense Secretary Giridhar Aramain. Flag Officer Commanding-in-Chief, Eastern Naval Command Vice Admiral Rajesh Pendarkar, CMD, HSL KMD Hamant Katri, RETD, and other senior officials from the Indian Navy and HSL were present for the occasion. There were other recent news reports regarding the termination of the contracts made earlier with Turkish companies who were supposed to assist with ship design through consultancy aimed at the ship construction of these five FSS for the Indian Navy. A separate video shall be created soon to analyze the impacts and fallouts of this particular decision, since it can be considered as a separate topic by itself. This analytical report delves into the technical details, historical context, socio-economic impacts, and broader implications of this indigenous project. It explores the multifaceted dimensions of the project, ranging from its technical specifications, India's aims to bolster its navy's blue water capabilities, to employment landscape, international relations, the realization of the Atmanirbhar Bharat, self-reliant India, policy and its strategic significance in the context of India's maritime security and economic growth. Details for this video has been gathered from various news reports of April 11, 2024 and April 10, 2024. Hi friend! Welcome back to SciTech Buzz One channel. We wish to sincerely thank all the new subscribers of this channel. We have observed that 97% of our viewers haven't subscribed to our channel. If you haven't as yet subscribed, kindly consider doing so, after watching this video, since it would encourage us to do more. Watch this interesting video until the end so that you will not miss out on all the details. Technical Specifications and Chronology The Steel Cutting Ceremony held at HSL on April 10, 2024 marked the commencement of production for the first of five FSS ordered by the Indian Navy in August 2023. HSL Visakhapatnam, will build the five FSS at an overall cost of approximately 19,000 rupees crore. The Cabinet Committee on Security had approved this acquisition on August 16, 2023. These vessels, with a displacement of 44,000 tons each, are designed to replenish warships at sea and extend their range and endurance for longer missions. The FSS will serve as a vital lifeline for the fleet, providing crucial supplies such as fuel, water, ammunition, and stores to sustain naval operations in distant waters, thereby enhancing the operational capabilities and strategic reach of the Navy. In a secondary role, these ships would be equipped for humanitarian aid and disaster relief operations for evacuation of personnel in emergencies and quick delivery of relief material at the site during natural calamities. The design of the FSS incorporates cutting-edge technologies to optimize operational efficiency and enhance mission capabilities. With a length of 225 meters and a width of 32 meters, these vessels offer ample space for cargo storage, accommodation facilities, and operational equipment. Advanced propulsion systems and navigation aids ensure optimal performance and maneuverability, enabling the FSS to support a wide range of maritime missions. Defense Secretary Giridhar Aramain presided over the first steel-cutting ceremony. He also laid the foundation stone for augmentation of slipways and took stock of infrastructure modernization being undertaken to enhance the yard's capacity. The ongoing infrastructure upgrades, including the installation of a 300-ton crane and slipway upgrades, will further enhance HSL's capacity to undertake projects reinforcing its role in meeting the defense and commercial sector requirements under the Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative, the statement added. HSL is tasked with delivering the first FSS to the Navy by mid-2027, 
followed by subsequent deliveries at a rate of one every 10 months. This determined timeline reflects the government's commitment to enhancing India's naval capabilities and reducing reliance on foreign suppliers for critical defense equipment. This ambitious project is expected to generate employment opportunities, estimated at nearly 168.8 lakh mandates over eight years, thus contributing to the socio-economic development of the region. Historical Context and Progress The construction of FSS represents a significant milestone in India's journey towards self-reliance in defense manufacturing. It builds upon decades of investment in indigenous shipbuilding capabilities and underscores India's determination to achieve strategic autonomy in maritime security. The Indian Navy, with its expanding fleet and evolving operational requirements, has been at the forefront of efforts to modernize and indigenize its assets. Over the years, India has implemented various measures to bolster indigenous defense production, including phased import bans, creating a separate budget for buying locally made military hardware, increasing foreign direct investment, FDI, from 49% to 74% and improvements in the ease of doing business. The value of defense production in India has witnessed a steady increase, reaching Indian Rupee 106800 crore in FI 2022-23, compared to 95,000 Indian rupees crore in FI 2021-22 and 54,951 Indian rupees crore five years ago. India is eyeing a turnover of Indian rupee 175,000 lakh crore in defense manufacturing by 2024-25. The Navy, which currently operates four such FSS vessels commissioned between 1996 and 2011, was scouting for more such ships for several years to cater to its growing replenishment needs amid the expansion of its fleet and increased roles and responsibilities in the Indian Ocean region. The FSS project aligns with the Navy's long-term vision of becoming fully self-reliant by 2047, coinciding with India's centennial celebration of independence. It reflects the government's commitment to fostering indigenous innovation, promoting domestic manufacturing, and reducing dependence on imports for critical defense equipment. By leveraging domestic resources, expertise, and infrastructure, India aims to strengthen its defense industrial base and enhance its strategic autonomy and resilience in an increasingly uncertain geopolitical environment. Socioeconomic Impacts The indigenous construction of FSS holds significant implications for the socioeconomic landscape of India. The project's execution is expected to generate a substantial number of job opportunities, spanning a wide range of skill sets and expertise. From welders and technicians to engineers and project managers, the FSS project will create employment opportunities for individuals at various stages of their careers. The employment generated, estimated at nearly 168.8 lakh mandates over eight years, will not only alleviate unemployment but also stimulate economic growth in the region. The influx of skilled workers and professionals into Visakhapatnam is likely to spur demand for housing, infrastructure, and services, thereby benefiting local businesses and industries. Moreover, the development of indigenous shipbuilding capabilities will create a ripple effect across the economy, stimulating growth in ancillary industries, supply chains, and support services. Small and medium enterprises, SMEs, involved in manufacturing components and providing services for the shipbuilding sector stand to benefit from increased demand, thereby fostering a robust ecosystem of domestic suppliers. International Relations and Strategic Significance The construction of FSS underscores India's emergence as a key player in maritime security and defense. By enhancing its naval capabilities, India aims to assert its presence in the Indian Ocean region and contribute to regional stability. The project also reflects India's commitment to maritime cooperation and security in the Indo-Pacific, a region of increasing geopolitical significance. Furthermore, the indigenous construction of naval vessels enhances India's credibility as a reliable defense partner and strengthens its position in defense diplomacy. By showcasing its ability to design, build, and deploy advanced naval assets, India can forge strategic partnerships and alliances with like-minded nations, furthering its geopolitical interests. 
The FSS project symbolizes India's aspiration to be a net security provider in the Indo-Pacific region, promoting peace, stability, and prosperity for all stakeholders. Contribution to Atmanirbhar Bharat Policy and Growth Story The construction of FSS epitomizes India's pursuit of self-reliance in defense production, a key tenet of the Atmanirbhar Bharat Policy, Make in India and Make for the World. By reducing dependence on imports and promoting indigenous manufacturing, India seeks to bolster its defense preparedness, enhance technological capabilities, and spur economic growth. The FSS project is emblematic of India's transition from being a buyer of defense equipment to becoming a manufacturer and exporter of advanced defense systems. Additionally, the indigenous construction of naval vessels contributes to India's growth story by fostering innovation, entrepreneurship, and skill development. The project not only creates employment opportunities but also nurtures a culture of innovation and excellence in the defense sector, positioning India as a global hub for maritime technology and manufacturing. By leveraging indigenous capabilities and expertise, India can address emerging security challenges, enhance operational readiness, and promote regional stability. Conclusion In conclusion, the indigenous construction of fleet support ships for the Indian Navy represents a watershed moment in India's defense industrialization and maritime capabilities. The project underscores India's commitment to self-reliance, innovation, and strategic autonomy, laying the foundation for a more secure and prosperous future. By harnessing domestic resources, expertise, and innovation, India is poised to emerge as a global leader in maritime security, defense manufacturing, and strategic partnerships. The FSS project exemplifies India's vision of a self-reliant, technologically advanced, and globally competitive defense industry, contributing to the nation's growth, security, and prosperity. Stay tuned for further developments on these projects. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. My friend, if you have found any value in this video, then kindly click on like button as an encouragement to create better quality content. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends, and in your social media network so that this information might benefit others. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz One channel so that you will not miss out on any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you.